Well, man, behind the scenes, we have ran out of other random projects. I think it's time to get back on Lieutenant Dan. What do you say? It's been so long since we worked on this truck. Do you even remember what we did last? No. And you probably don't remember how to hook everything back up either. I do remember how to hook everything back up, and I also remember what we did last. Do you? Yes. What would you so last? I will catch you and all the viewers up to speed on what we did last. So we lost a grinder. No. <laughs> so if you guys are new to the channel, this is the truck we're building. It's an old Navy truck. We've uh, dubbed it Lieutenant Dan. It's uh, kind of played off the military theme and a little bit of a tribute to my uh, late dad. So. We have a whole playlist on the channel of how we got to this point. Several videos on cutting the frame, installing the lift axle, painting the cab. Oh yeah, it's a long list, but we have had a busy summer. We have had an extremely busy summer. We haven't had time to work on this truck. We got a bunch of rain over the weekend. Rained a little bit this morning, so we have decided we're gonna attempt to put the bed on this thing. Yep. And the last video, the last, the last video, video that aired on this truck was we took a trip to Minnesota to Chris Steele oh yeah that's right and, that uh, was we, the last we picked one up our new bed and uh we had high hopes of putting that bed on as soon as we got back you got called back to work if you guys don't know aaron's actually a bullet maker by trade he got called back to work he does not work for me full time he just works here because he don't want to go home <laughs> <laughs> you need guidance let's get yeah. this straight you need, need guidance, guidance. And uh, we hit busy season, guys. If you've seen all the videos, working for Farmer Chris and Ponds and Lakes and et cetera, et cetera, it just went on and on and on. So unfortunately, the truck sit here for about two and a half months and hasn't been touched. We're going to change that today. So one thing we were able to do when we got back to Chris Steele, I don't have a whole lot of video of it. For the it's, new viewers though, you need to let them know that this was a semi, a tractor. It still is technically right now. I'm well, hoping yeah. we change that by the end of the day. <laughs> by the end of the day, it should be a triaxle. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the plan. So uh, I don't have my paperwork here in front of me, but Chris Steele, they provided all kinds of stuff. It's Where's over on the table. Over on the on table, table laying. I can't show them my messy table. Oh my goodness. That was all part of it. Oh my goodness. See, we got this part of the shop cleaned up. We didn't get that part of the shop cleaned up. So. It's been so long since I've looked through this book and figured out what's what, but basically what we've done is this is the hinge that goes in the back, which I'll show you guys back here. Uh, Aaron actually notched the frame and uh, got the hinge in. This is what it's like the bed dump. I'm not for sure why he's got a gap big enough down here you could throw a house cat through, but... Uh, I went off your measurements. No, I wasn't here for that. That was all your measurements. <laughs> and it, here's a little behind the scenes behind the scenes with man behind the scenes because he worked on this for like a half day one day and then like there was a video i don't have because i lost it of reworking that bucket where you showed up for a random day yeah he couldn't find anything he couldn't find his grinder he couldn't find his welding yeah. helmet he couldn't find his welding rods and he blamed it all on me where'd you put my stuff guess where he put it right where he left it working <laughs> on this hinge back here i asked you before i left that day to put all the tools back up no. so we knew where they were at not so. true so anyways what's going to happen is that bed's going to sit on here the bed has weld plates once we get the bed on there the weld plate will go off to that then we had to come up here and bolt this angle iron on we did paint the back side of this in here in case you guys are wondering oh man i can go back through here and find it but they got all these um dimensions and stuff in the in the book here this is the main chart basically what we had to do is we had to make sure that hoist box misses the transfer case leaves enough room for our stacks but gets the dump angle we need for the bed this is slightly adjustable the way they've got this built so the hoist box will get welded off to that the back of the frame rail will get welded off to that hopefully it all fits and it all works together if you guys remember from the previous videos we do have some concerns about our stack height because they changed a measurement on us midstream so i'm not for sure how they're going to jive with our bed i hope fingers crossed i hope that all hope that all pans out so man behind the scenes a few odds and ends they didn't see um we did get the drive shaft back in the truck if you guys have been following this project from the beginning it's not painted green yet. Not yet. 
He still has high hope he's going to paint it green. Yep. Uh, our carrier burning bracket that everybody says is going to fail, it's made out of 3 8 steel that it's good, they can't take the torque. Newsflash, carrier bearings don't take torque. That's the, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but uh, if it's torquing, your bearing's out. So uh, that's all good. I have no concerns about that, uh, that being an issue. We got, so basically we got the drive shaft back in, we got the lift axle plumb back up, we got the fuel tank hooked back up, and I got the batteries put back in. So here's the plan. You ready for the plan? I'm ready for the plan. Everybody deserves a plan. I say, actually, oh, I say, here's yeah. what we're gonna do. We, I'm yeah, let's do that. We, let's I'm not. I'm not gonna give you an option. Oh, I like I. I think. No, uh, I and team. No, there's not. Here's what we are gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do it together, but I'm gonna be the leader. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and we know how that goes. And all your viewers well, that have been watching, you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, we got to this point, didn't we? <laughs> hey, this looks pretty good so far. So here's what we're gonna do. I say, we go ahead and set the stacks on there and get those loosely bolted down enough. We pull this beast outside, take the loader, set the bed on, and see how everything matches up. What do you think? I think if it all matches up, I need to go straight to welding. I hope that's what we're at at the end of this video. <laughs> and I hope the end of this video is ended today. Uh, now, we kind of stopped fabricating on the stack. Stopped fabricating on the stacks? Boy, say that three times fast. Because we want to put some crossbars in there. I may mount the hydraulic tank there. We want to have something for a light. There's a lot of other things that need to go on there. We just got the main part of the stacks built. We didn't really want to go any farther until we got the bed up there to kind of see how it all matches up. So uh, let's throw some stacks on. Let's do something. I'm ready. Been well, waiting. Well, I've been waiting for three months. It's what, what did I say, a dime holding up a dollar? <laughs> I don't even know if you're that high. I, I, I'll go panty for you. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's throw some stacks on. You're gonna have to run the controls when you're taller. Let me uh, undo and this, uh, let me undo this air dryer because I kind of loosely tacked it up there. Yeah, and that's right where the stacks go. That's where the stacks go. I just thought we were gonna straight pipe it. Don't scratch the paint. You already did. I didn't. Look at that. Who did that? That's you. Oh, let me get a hammer. Yeah, I had it set. Uh, it's good. You just need to take it in. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> We're losing it. Where's it going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think that worked. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah, you go ahead. Slide that strap over. At least one hole lined up. How many bolts? Man, behind the scenes, it's absolutely crazy how just putting the stacks on this truck completely changes the look of it. I'll tell you what completely changed the look of it. And I'm glad that that custom seat you ordered came in. Oh, yeah. You want to show the custom seat? I'm tickled with it, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I can't find the DOT approved sticker on it, but I'm sure it's on yeah. there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the description on eBay said it'd work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. We got, uh, these aren't bolted down tight. These are not even actually hooked up. 
We just got them sitting on there so we see what we got. We got our weld plates on, we got our hinge in, we got our batteries hooked up. This thing hasn't been started in what, probably four months? Probably every bit of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this thing off. It's gonna start just like it was started sitting here yesterday. We're gonna Austin powers it out of the shop. See what that green paint looks like out in the sunshine. Sunshine, yeah. I can't even talk today. I have a <laughs> problem with the S's. Um, and then we're gonna take the loader and hopefully set the bed down on it. So I'm excited. It's a long time coming, buddy. It's a long time coming. Yeah, should have been done about right, three months ago. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's see if this butte will kick off. Did you get your seatbelt put in yet? No. Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep it under I 30. I won't tell anybody. I'm trying to keep it under 30. All right, come on, baby. Don't let me down. I'll put my safety glasses on since I'm kind of missing something here. I don't know what that fan's gonna throw at me. I gotta find some power steering fluid. Well, man, behind the scenes, we have attempted to pull this thing out of the shop twice. It's still in the shop. Yeah. Temp yeah. one, small air leak, got it fixed. Temp two, no power steering. <laughs> it's, very, it's very difficult when you're trying to do the Austin Powers move, you know, with no power steering. And no power steering. Yeah. yeah. And especially if your seat's not permanently mounted, it really uh, limits your leverage. You, you ordered it, not me. <laughs> it really limits your leverage you get on the <laughs> steering wheel. So. <laughs> Topped all the power steering fluid. We got our brake, our airline fixed. Let's uh, let's pull this thing outside. You gonna do it this time? I, I think so. I'll hold the so. camera. We'll see. We'll see if you can. Ah. Here we go. Fire and hole. Oh yeah. Is that better? That's a lot better. Like a turd.
buddy, we made it. We did make it. It was a short trip. But the bed trip. still ain't on the truck. <laughs> short trip, but it was exciting. <laughs> I'm fired up. Well, you didn't take kids' basketball goal. You did break one of the brackets on my broom. Now, wait a minute. I asked if everything was out of the way, and I said, I need all the space available. I didn't lean that broom up there. I usually awesome. hang it back on the wall when I'm done. Well, awesome driving. So. We still got our pipe fitting still on there. All right. So Smooth. we're this close, man. We are this close. We just need that to up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get all right. it. Let's do it. I can't take it no more. Let's do it. All right, step one, we have got to figure out how to rig this thing up. And uh, full disclosure, we do not have the, what we use to unload this thing with my spreader chain. Yeah, the four-way spreader, which worked great. Yeah, I guess where it's So at. we do have something. We just don't know where it's at. We know exactly where it's at. It's in the toolbox on the 120. Where it shouldn't be right now. It's where it should be <laughs> any other time we need it except for right now. <laughs> so we got some chains. We got some straps. We got a loader. We got man behind the scenes oh. with an imagination. We're going to find a way. The determination will win. We are going to find a way to yeah. get this lifted up. Get it out. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. I know the loader will lift it. I don't know if it'll lift it high enough. <laughs> I could be a I flaw. I hope so. I, I could be a flaw in our plan there, buddy. There's only one way to find out. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna run the forks here now on top of the top of the bed. I'm gonna try to get everything squared up the best I can. We can kind of get this rigged up. I got a spreader bar down at the office that I think would work pretty good. But we're gonna try it one time without it and uh, see how see how it looks. So there's the vamper. Actually, I need to go down as far as I can. Okay. Well, sir, how confident are you in your rigging? <laughs> we already find out. You confident <laughs> enough to stand in there while we do a test run? I am, yeah until it gets picked up. It's gonna be a good video one way or another. <laughs> All right, see what happens. Take one. I hope it's take one and done. I do too. It's too hot out here for take three, four, and five. <laughs> Going up, you ready? The only thing I see is we may be too low with our chains, which what it's doing is it's setting your frame of your forks or the your your boom tied up against this. What well, if we just put a board or something in there? I kind of like that because it makes it rigid. Uh, we'll be all right then, as long as we can get it high enough. Well, you want to do a test run on that? I think we'll do a test run on it, yeah. You wanna hop out? Yeah, I'll hop out.
pretty close right there, ain't it? Yeah, it's real close to having enough. Yeah, your, your forks are still lean back. Might be good. I say, uh, I say we try her. Yeah. Ah. man behind the scenes you ready all right let me get some gloves on safety first safety first up up and away buddy I've got hot enough. You got your uh, camera? We gotta get a picture. Got my camera. Your phone? Yeah, I got my phone. It's in my pocket. You wanna get this right there? No, no, I don't. <laughs> my, my phone's been used here, for you, a drone. You hold that. I'm trying to see here where I can get a good picture. You think we're high enough? Yeah, I, I think we're about high. 10 inches high. I can't take right. it no more. Let's back this thing in. All right. We got one four by four. We gotta get out of two by four or something. I'll we'll back over that. We got a big truck. Take the bed back. Turn to take it back like that. Yes. A little bit more. All right. Now we need to back up. Now the front is right on. We got the 
front right on. Okay. But it's the, the back's a little it needs to go back a little bit. That way. So as it goes back, we'll probably have to come back, we'll have to back up a little bit. Alright, now straight in. Oh. Come down just a little bit. Hold that. Back up just a hair. Just sitting on the frame rail there. Then straight back? Yep. Back a little more. Hold that. Okay, let's come straight down. All right. I think the whole thing needs to go towards the truck. I'm gonna need to back the truck up. Huh? How far of an overhang do you have off the well, frame? Well, we need to go, it's based off this up here. See, this needs to come to there. Oh, that goes all the way up? Yeah, so I need, I need to back the truck straight up, I think, huh? Yeah, if you back straight up, Hopefully you keep it, it's, it's pretty close as far as Ray comes straight down. Just okay, let me see if I can go straight back. Ready? Yep. I can't really see, so let me know. Well, you're getting ready to hit your brackets. Okay, you're, you're inside your bracket over there on your exhaust. So, oh, that, that bracket over there is longer, ain't it? Yeah, that's longer bracket. We're really close. Yeah, really. I mean, it can go that way a little bit, but you're hitting that bracket up there, so that's going to twist your bed as you back up. Yeah, let's see what... Uh... Got this bed pretty close to where it goes and we got uh we got one little interference issue here the bed's actually pretty much where we thought it was going to land but we're not happy with that gap right there the stack height is turned out almost perfect perfect it's like it looks really mean i'll show you guys here in a little bit but what we got is the bed frame is interfering with our exhaust stack bracket right here we would like for this bed to come back four more inches uh, I think you'd really just kind of make this right here look symmetrical. That's a big word for dirt yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I think I used it properly though. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bracket off right here. These two brackets are different if you guys remember from the stack build. We're going to cut that bracket off right there and if we're worried about some extra support on this I think we'll weld a piece of heavy mm -hmm. angle on the back and bolt down that way and that will allow us to bring it forward. We'd like to come forward four inches. I think all we're going to get is three. Well, we discussed the back and the front, yeah. Yeah, so. because we'll run out of room back there on the back. So I think if we can get that forward three more inches, it'll make that gap look a whole a lot better. What do you guys think? So I'm going to raise it up a little bit, pull back forward. And uh, what do you think, just wait for wheel that off for now? I think just wait for it off and, and uh, pull it out of there. Get our bearings on this and then go again. So yep, it's looking, look at it though, guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh yeah, <laughs> better be out of the way. Man, that is gonna be, that is one gonna be one awesome looking dump truck right there. Look how cool it would have been to see that thing on that lake job we just did. Oh, I know it. Look at that. It's gonna be a beast. It's gonna be a beast. All right, let's, uh, let's modify that and get her set down. It's a whole different feeling being in a truck without a windshield, let me tell you. All right. Start. Parking brake. I can barely see it down there. We don't want to go forward too far. Come on, baby. There we go. That should give us enough room to work. Okay. 
We've got our two bolts out right there. Aaron's getting that bracket cut off. And we're going to have to uh, pick up the pace a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is one big old nasty thunderstorm coming straight towards you. So, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we got a storm coming. Do we? Could you cut a little faster? Please? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, I should I tell the wolves to go faster? Yeah, you, this is uh, new, no good, the wall, the combo. You're right up against it. You want a hammer maybe try to break her off? Yep, getting there, getting real close. Real close, he says, folks. Went to go get you a hammer and a new battery, and you just had to be macho, man. Hey. You got it without me. All right. Let's uh let's back her up, set her down, get her back in the shop before she rains. You ready? Yeah, I'm right. ready. Waiting on you. Tell me when. All right. Bring her all back. Up. Oh, got about up. Oh, keep coming. Keep coming back. Oh, stop. Now it's still got back. Does that look any better with that gap now? Oh yeah, that looks a lot better, don't it? Yeah, it looks a lot better. Uh, I think everything looks good. I think I'm back. I think I'm a little too far though. I'm up on this other bracket. Yeah, we can get that when you set it down. Set it down. All right. All right. Now. Going down. Come on. Oh yeah. Hey, we got a storm coming. What you say? Can I'm we working, move along I'm a little working, quicker here? I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. I'm running a saw that's I mean, got a half dead I'm battery. A truck loader, I've got a drone camera. I've got a grinder. It's got half dead battery. And you're trying to tell me to I'm hurry up. Down, everything you down. got. Well, you just go. I'm going down. They won't listen to me. All you got, everything you got, runs wide open. So there's no excuse. Looking good. We need, to, we need to go that way. So I pick up. How much? Uh, about three inches. The yep. front's pretty good. It's just the back. Get a block of wood and I'll push on it. Okay, let me look at it. Oh, I said three inches, not six. Wait, I forgot how long my fork was. All right. Now, uh, come a little more. Okay, uh, a little more. Oh, hold that. On the hinges, it's setting about even. Perfect. I'm sure once we get it in the shop, we can tweak it a little bit if we need to. Yeah, we got an overhead in there that can help pick yeah. some of the weight too. All right. Uh, the front here, it's gonna have to go uh, probably uh, eighth of an inch to a quarter that way yet, but that ain't all very bad at all. I think the back looks pretty good. Uh, Man behind the scenes, that thing looks absolutely awesome. Yes, it does. Look oh, they don't want to look at you, they want to look at it. Look at that thing. Isn't that a beast? Now, I didn't look at the stacks yet. Does it look like we're going to clear on them? I oh, yeah. I think so. The, um, yeah. I mean, they just oh, peeked yeah. right over the top. Oh, yeah. Man, I wish you'd have that front end on the truck and the doors and the windshield and all that good stuff. Are you like a real life commenter Man. right now? I mean, come on, people. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> all right. Hey, one step, one bed at a time. We're doing what we can here. And black rims are sharp, too. 
Yeah, the whole thing's sharp. She's a beaut, Clark. All right. I'm just in awe right now. Just in awe. All right, we need to hurry and get this thing in the shop before this rainstorm hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, oh man, oh man. What a thing of beauty. Yeah. I mean, what really makes it look, what really makes it look official is the driver's seat. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. that just throws it over the top right there, so. Is that a special custom ordered seat yeah, for truck or track? Well, I mean, that's not too high quality for them, but that's the uh, weight saving version. I can haul an extra 400 pounds of dirt because I have a thing here, right? All right. In all seriousness, guys, we do got a pretty good storm rolling in. I want to get this thing back in the shop before it gets uh, rained on without the windows and gets all the insulation and stuff wet. So let us get it in the shop and then we'll kind of get a game plan where we're going to go from there. So to the shop we go, Trucky. Oh, yeah. Man behind the scenes, we made her in the shop. In the nick of time. In the nick of time. Yeah. I apologize I didn't record it. We about took out the track on the door because I couldn't see anything the track don't have mirrors on it. I tried saying stop. I you stopped. Went. Good thing, hey, somebody had the great idea to go get the radios and it's a good thing we did because, yeah. but I think this deserves a toast. It you does. Got your, uh, I invitation, got my blue can. Invitation Pepsi there. Yeah. I got the uh, real thing. Yeah. Well, that's what we do, one-handed. But, uh, uh What do you think, Gunner? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I think I could just sit here and stare at it for the next couple hours. It looks better yeah. than I thought it was going to look. What's up, buddy? It is. Wow. Oh, no, they are. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. I better do that. Windows are down on the truck. <laughs> Did little man save you? Yes. Hey, at least somebody takes care of me. I Thank thought. you, Gunner. Gunner. Are my windows up? No. Yes, they are. I can see it from here. Look at it raining again, bud. Crazy. I'm sure glad Gunner looked out for you. He got your windows too. rolled up. <laughs> Gunner, you saved me. You did. And I'm also glad we got this thing in the shop before uh, we were stuck in that. Yeah, it's turned into a monsoon. Gutters won't keep up. Your drainage out here ain't quite keeping up either. It's, it's going that way. That's the whole design is it's going that way. Okay. It's, we should put more fall on it. <laughs> Puddle enough out there. <laughs> it's raining four inches an hour. <laughs> It'll survive. All right, so where do we go from here, man, behind the scenes? Ah. Well, as we were saying earlier, I was trying to go, whoa, stop, stop, stop. And uh, you stopped about a foot short. Uh, didn't hurt anything, you got lucky, but it, it bumped just enough that it threw a trailer or the bed so off square. So what he was trying to do here so. is what is called a classic game of pass the blame. <laughs> of, he claims it was set hey, perfectly. I blurt where, from the vest. <laughs> perfectly where it needs to be. It was. But it now was. that it's in the shop, it needs to it's, be uh, tweaked just a little bit. Yeah, like um, so. it, it needs to come back over about two inches. Two inches. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, about lost it. <laughs> uh, so, no, in theory, it, uh, honestly, probably inch and three quarter. Oh, so, no. I'm and, glad it's not the full two inches. And then we got to readjust the front. But, so, uh, you want to get like one back corner right, tack it off, then we can kind of pivot mm -hmm. it around on it? We sure can. Are you going to stick weld this or are you going to uh, MIG weld this? I'll probably end up, I'll probably end up uh, stick weld most of it just because I feel a lot better with stick than MIG, but. I think what I he's think, nicely trying to say is he knows how this truck's going to be abused. Oh, I do know. And uh, when I ain't in the driver's seat. <laughs> All right, how are we gonna move this thing now we don't have a loader in the shop? Well, I can just come over here and kind of shove it a little bit and you'll get it. How'd that work for you? Huh? Uh, no, not me, you. Oh, me? Yeah. I think we need a pry bar. Okay, we'll get some pry bars. Can we get one in there somewhere? We gotta find a way to. I can get a couple pry out. bars and we can we can walk it over. Think we can? I hope so. I don't see where to pry off of. We'll figure something out. Yeah. What happened here? 
You tell me. I went off your measurements. I don't think so. I will say this much, though. That bed sits on that frame exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. And I was an idiot and thought it was bad and just didn't want to say anything on ca camera. <laughs> no, it, it is. We nailed that, man. <laughs> we nailed that. All right, let's get, uh, let's get this corner walked over to where it needs to be, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Man behind the scenes, I'd have to say that is a pretty slick fit. Yeah. We got the little port power right. out. We got Man. her, I mean, it, I don't know. If they built the bed perfectly square, our truck, truck is perfectly square and matches it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hey. scary close to be honest with you, but everything's fit up really nice. And uh, everything looks good, man. Good, good. That means I can get to work on welding this. All right, so what we've yeah. decided is Aaron is going to go ahead and stick weld the front up there because we got a lot more MIG surface. Weld. MIG weld. MIG Correction. Up Aaron's yes. going to go ahead and MIG weld that up there, mostly because he can get a lot more uh, quantity of weld on there. Is yep. that right? Yep, correct. And, this and we, we discussed that it weight bearing, it's not as critical as the back. Famous last words. Y you, yeah. I asked you. <laughs> so, You're the truck guy. This uh, this this does still take some abuse in a side lane situation, but for the most part, it's just got straight down weight. It does not take the same abuse the hinges do down here. So, Aaron is going to MIG weld the front, and then we're going to bust out the stick welder and stick weld everything here on the back. Where we go from there, I'm not 100% for sure. So let me get the stick welder set up for him, get him a welding, and uh, we'll get a plan, get a plan moving forward. I promise you cannot, you cannot make this stuff up. Yes, he sold Mason Street to see because he needed four more inches to see what he's doing. <laughs> Booster seat treating you all right there, bud? Yes, it is. Even stays with me sometimes when I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever oh, it takes boy. to make it work. Hey, progress is progress, bud. Progre progress is progress. <laughs> All right, Aaron's got the front side all welded up. That looks pretty sharp. You know, I go to the, uh, there I go to the back side. What'd you, uh, what'd you ask me? Ask me what you do with my rods. I'm not a real smart man, but are you drinking that? I am drinking that. I'd look right below it. I think your rods are in that box right there. And I asked you where you put them. I wasn't paying attention when I set my beer down, when I set <laughs> my beer not down a on. Coaster. I went to look where the rods should be and they weren't there. You left them there. We talked about this in the first half of the video. We did, didn't we? Busted. Let's look. just see. We will see. That's oh, what I need. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Since, uh, since we had to turn the air conditioning off in the shop to get the truck in now, I even set you up with a fan. Ah, yes. Got my go fan. You're ready to go. Got your booster seat. Got my booster got seat. Fan. What more could a guy ask for? <laughs> You're right. Somebody to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the welder for you. All right. Got old, uh, old trusty sitting out back here. She's a little low on fuel, but I think she'll get us through the day. Final. This is the life right here. He's over there slaving away welding. Got the fan behind me. Thing with the smack on. Cold Pepsi. Pepsi ain't no good. You do a good job, Bob. Keep it up. Oh, don't worry, I will. Look, you look so comfortable over your chair. You actually got my welding chair. Um. 
you get done with that rod, you care to adjust this fan? I'm getting a little hot. I, yeah, I'll get right on that. I want it over here a little okay, farther. Yeah, you're the best helper I got today. <laughs> oh. Nobody else here. In all seriousness, guys, we're just having fun. I really we do. are? Hold on. Did <laughs> well, you say we're having fun? <laughs> well, I'm having fun. I don't know about you. I hey, can't even see what I'm doing. I got you the uh, right color Pepsi over there. You're all good. You do have the right color Pepsi over there. You know the best part about right that? Right labeled. The right labeled Pepsi. You know the right, you know the best part about that? First sips and automatic clock out. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it is. And, uh, the right colored Pepsi is a whole lot cheaper than your hourly wage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually true. You left them in our peeler. I just stored them for them. <laughs> that storage fee is a real bear, man. Yeah, yeah, I know it. <laughs> get you every time. How are Pringles? Delicious. You want to try one? No, no, because I had Jenna sauce them up for you. Oh boy. <laughs> you just keep welding and I'll worry about the Pringles. I'm trying if I can find it. We adjusted the RPM on the rudder a little bit and it seems to be welding a lot better. What do you say? Oh, it is. It's welding a lot better. It, it don't stick when I start. Near as bad. I mean, it does a little bit, but not bad. You know, what probably wouldn't have hurt is if I had a good pimp, you know, a good what? mechanic can that would have cleaned all this paint off for me. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds what do you think? Like, sounds like too much oh, work. Oh, you had to go get Pringles and I a did. Pepsi. Yeah. And Pepsi. <laughs> then I had to walk all the way back out here to the shop. <laughs> Uh, in all seriousness, I really am going to go do something. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to go do something. Well, man, behind the scenes, are you officially all welded out there, bud? I'm officially welded out. That was, uh, I see why they like uh, using a MIG gun on that, though. But don't you feel more confident? Oh, I feel a lot more confident because you got to kind of run it backwards and your weld slopes up, so... It makes it look a little bit goofy. Uh, probably could have brushed out a little better if the brush would have fit, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I stayed pretty comfy in my chair over here, wasn't it? I did, too... yeah, well, I don't know if you noticed, but I just started throwing all my stuff in that <laughs> chair so you couldn't <laughs> set it in Trying to run me off, I see how so, you are. Trying to yeah, run me I off. do, I feel very confident with it, but uh, yeah, I did a, it was a little bit of a pain to get in there on that one. And uh, my, uh, my prepper, my mechanic I had, he uh, decided that uh, he wasn't gonna clean no paint for me. Uh, it's been nice to he do may, before it went on the truck. He may have gotten sidetracked editing some videos. Oh, awesome. so that's why I had to burn through paint. You better be on the best behavior because the boss is here now. Yep. So. How you doing, Miss Jenna? It's fine. All right, the bed, the, be the bed's officially mounted. And welded like, off, it ain't coming off Like no it's permanently no, attached. It's not coming off. Huh? Well, if it comes off, we got problems. <laughs> Big problems. Yeah. I won't come back for a week or two. <laughs> so where do we go from here, man, behind the scenes? Uh, from here, I'd like to get moved on to the stacks and make sure you like the stacks because that's the last little bit of welding we got besides lifting the bed and welding the insides. Well, we got we, 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 I'm not done with you yet. You just, you just hang tight. <laughs> so here's, the, here's what we got going on. These, bed, these stacks fit pretty much as planned, as designed. From the side angle, I'm not for sure if I'm absolutely in love with the way they fit right there. I love them. But if you look at it from the rear, they're just perfect. They're absolutely perfect. I mean, they just barely, if you guys can see, they just barely peek over the top of the bed there, which is what we wanted. So I don't know. I, uh, I gotta let it grow on me a little bit. And I'm sure- Can I just few justify things. something? What's that? That whenever I crawled up there, they are actually about an inch above. Yeah, they're the above bed. the bed. Yeah. The other thing we gotta do good. is we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for a tarp because we don't we can't mount the tarp here, but I'm hoping we can mount it here. And we gotta make sure they don't interfere. It's gonna get a crossbar in it for uh, a light bar, and then we're gonna have to do something to protect the back window. So here's where we go from here. I don't know for sure when we're gonna get back to this again. Mrs. Dirt Perfect has bought Mr. Dirt Perfect a new low boy trailer. And uh, 
We got to do some small modifications to the Mac. Man, my face is dirty. This GoPro 9, I can see my face. It's horrible. Huh, that's good. You still look better than you with a dirty face. <laughs> <laughs> Let the viewers decide on that. So, we got to do uh, we got to do some modifications to the Mac to get the new trailer hitched up. Not a whole lot, nothing major. I'm sure we'll video it. You guys will see that. But from here, we got to get the hydraulic tank mounted. We got to get the hydraulic pump mounted. We got to get the control valve mounted. Um, got to get a PTO. We have to go see Scott down at CTC get a PTO. We got a whole bunch of wiring, a whole bunch of plumbing. There's plenty to do. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. You guys got to stay tuned for that, but we're going to call it a wrap tonight. Before I set in it, I need that AC in there too. Oh yeah, yeah. After hauling dirt for three days up there on the lake, he decided he wanted the AC. He was Mr. Anti-AC for a while, but now he's Mr. I want my AC. I like AC. <laughs> yeah, so I got a feeling I'm in trouble, so we're going to wrap this uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. You remember what to say? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll, we'll catch you on the next one. You always make it so awkward at the end. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys.